so in this lecture we're gonna go over lists which are like uh, constructs that help us uh, in writing code okay the chapter goals so let's start with the basic properties of lists so what is a list a list is basically a collection of items okay the items can be anything gay they can be numbers strings floats etc etc okay for example if you want to collect numbers together this thing is a list okay so you define it with a variable just like you define normal variables integers floats you say variable name equals and then you write your elements of the list separated by a comma inside square brackets okay so this thing is now a list so then we can access those elements of the list by giving the index so how the computer stores it is like that of a string if you remember so it starts from index 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay so a six element list has five indices and the sixth index is the zeroth index which is the first index okay so my list or that variable name square brackets zero is the first element one is the second element and so on okay so like i said earlier how do you create a list you create a list by giving a name equals and the square brackets if the square brackets are empty that's an empty list if you have multiple members or multiple values they are separated by commas and they are listed as there right inside the square brackets and then how do you access them you give the index whatever that i is index 0 1 2 3 4 and then you can uh, access that element so let's start and then what this means we're gonna look at that uh, in a few slides okay so to access like I said you give the index you can access it you can print it do whatever with it you want what's happening here here you're saying put at 87 or assign 87 to the fifth index of this list what was it earlier so 0 1 2 3 4 fifth element was 80 now you are saying put 87 in that place okay so it would put 87 right here another example so let's say you're uh, or is it the same yeah it's it's an extended list of the same uh, list so we create a list with these members variable name is or the list name is values when you say this what happens so 0 1 2 3 4 fifth index is 80 so it should be replaced right graphically values is this list which is stored something like this in the memory and when you say list 5 87 this is what happens so the fifth index which was 80 gets replaced by 87 okay similarly so this was an uh, float uh, like a list of type floats okay or decimals you can also have lists with strings remember strings can be single quotes or double quotes here we are using single quotes and each element is index 0 index 1 2 3 4 of car brands okay so both lists and strings are sequences of uh, items or characters so in strings the it's single characters in lists it can be anything both use the square operator and the only difference or like the 
Couple of differences between list and strings. List can hold any type, whereas string will hold only characters. Strings are immutable, meaning you cannot change the characters in the sequence. Like you cannot say that uh, list member four is this, uh, meaning you cannot do this thing in strings, in lists you can, okay? So this is an eight member list, meaning its indices range from zero through seven. If you try to access or put a value in an, an index that does not exist, you get an error which is called an out of range error, okay? And usually like if you do that, your program can generate exceptions at runtime. Then you can also find like, let's say you have already defined a list, you can find the length of the list with the len function, okay? So what's happening here? Values is defined as a list, as some list, right? So values was a list. When you say len of values, it will go find the length of the values list and put it in this variable. So that's what's happening here. And this slide is basically telling you like uh, square brackets can be used in multiple ways. If you uh, put it right after a variable, it becomes the index or it denotes the index. If you write it after an equals, then you're basically creating a list, right? So you're creating here a one member list, which has only a single member called uh, define uh, like four. If you have four comma, let's say seven, that's a two member list and the members are four and seven, okay? Then let's say you have a list defined already, okay? Then how can you go over the members of the list. So for that, you need to loop over uh, the indices. So that's called looping over the indices, okay? So there are multiple versions in which you can go over a list. First version is something like this. That you say for i in this range. Print i meaning the index itself and you give the list name square brackets and that iterator or that index so this i this i this i is the same variable okay when you do this uh, it will print the index comma not comma like it will print print index which is zero and then the value of that index okay and in this case, you should know that your range will run from uh, zero through 10, okay? Uh, sorry, nine, like uh, exclusive of this. Now in this case, you know that your list had only 10 elements. So you can write that. What if there is a list whose length is determined at runtime, meaning the list can increase and decrease in size. Then if you give 10 and the list has now grown to 15 members, then this code will not work, okay? So for a better version is for i in range of length of values. So if you remember, we saw this len function a couple of slides ago. What this denotes is that it will find the length of that list and say, okay, you can iterate from zero to uh, this, uh, the length of that list, that is essentially, okay? So in these two cases, you can access a member by giving the square brackets, okay? 
now if you see this version so how do we write that we say for n or a variable which is called element here it could be i also for i in values print i okay so here if you see so this is much cleaner version much easier version here you don't need to find the length you don't need to give a range you just say get me that element in this uh, or get me each element in the values list so it will print the element each of those elements it does not need to go and get specific index it will print each one in a the order as they were defined okay so i would suggest you guys to create your lists play with these versions and i'm sure you're gonna like the third one most okay then list references we just discussed references a reference to a memory location in the ram or the memory so when you say something like this um, it's essentially you're defining scores equal this thing okay so your scores equals 10974 is essentially this thing so the first member is being uh, referenced by the list name or score zero or scores alone will reference this first memory location okay then there is something called an alias something like this so we defined a list called scores with these five members right when you do something like this where you say scores equals values so both of them are now pointing to the same memory location okay so you can change these numbers by either referencing values or by referencing scores right for example you say print values 3 so values 3 is pointing to the same as scores was pointing so if you put 10 in scores 3 which was earlier what it was 4 so in this statement you over uh, wrote that with 10 which went in here and when you access values 3 you get the same value okay so point being that if you do something like this you are only copying a list reference meaning you just created an alias for this specific list if you want to have two separate lists you need to create a uh, deep copy meaning that you uh, and i think uh, you will have to copy members one by one into another list okay you will have to write something like this and in there you will uh, sorry something like this and in here you will copy each i of values to the other list and even if you don't understand this now when we do loops then you will understand this better in a couple of uh, lectures okay uh, modifying we did then reverse subscripts so remember list indices start from zero onwards the reverse ones start like the last member is minus one so last element starts from minus one and comes back uh, like minus one two three four and so on okay and note this item just because you can do this does not mean you should so i highly discourage you to use negative subscripts in fact this slide is there but i 
want you to forget it okay never use that always use positive indices starting from zero onwards why because other programming languages do only this thing and it's the easier way if you go from last minus one you can mess up okay but just showing you that in extreme cases you may and if you go to any company or whatever you see code written with a negative don't think that it's wrong it's coming from the other way okay bottom up that is then there's a lab uh, create a list display the list find length of the list print the number replace the element so all these things are in these slides that we just did so you should be able to do this if not read the book watch the slides and you should be able to okay 